Good Thursday morning. Welcome to TGO's Market Sit Rep Wiz here. And obviously, uh, it, this feels like the Iranian hostage drama day, whatever we are, of our debt and budget ceiling impasse. Treasury Secretary Liu is testifying in front of uh, the Senate right now and obviously staking out the administration's position. But we're starting to see a little bit as we get uh, closer to the uh, closer to D-Day here that things are starting to thaw out a little bit. I think we're actually going to see uh, Congressman Paul Ryan step up and, and be the intermediary and try and work some sort uh, of deal. It is just kind of incredible that um, unlike uh, a business, unlike your own uh, household, our government can't prioritize payments. We just blast out a bunch of money to people uh, without prioritizing it, right? Which just, it, it doesn't make sense. And uh, the secretary's excuse is, well, it's just not wired that way. Well, obviously our government has uh, some pretty significant problems uh, with technology. It, isn't it amazing that we can spy on all these people, record all these phone calls, have this great technology, but we can't prioritize like a credit card bill, you know, what, what we're going to pay uh, first. It, it's just... Uh, it's incredible for, for me to fathom that we don't have the capability to do that. We can put a man on the moon in the 60s, but we, you know, we can't prioritize uh, our debt payments. Obviously, that's not true. But if you look at what's going on with the Obamacare launch and the websites being broken, Hawaii, the state of Hawaii is actually relaunching because not one person signed up. Uh, and they don't think it's a technical glitch. They just nobody signed up. Uh, so it's ab absolutely uh, incredible, uh, everything that's going on in our country. But the futures are actually indicating higher this morning. I think, uh, as I've predicted, we're going to see a little bit of a relief rally. Uh, and as my traders know, I put on, uh, I'm putting on a, uh, a bearish double vertical on the VIX. Placed a bullish double vertical on the VIX a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago, that uh, achieved about $9,100 in profit that I closed out yesterday in one of my portfolios. Now we're rolling inverted and we're going to pull straight down and roll that trade, uh, just do the exact opposite with a double vertical. It's two uh, spreads on top of each other with the same strategic mindset. Uh, in that case, it was uh, a uh, bull put spread and a bull call spread. Now I'm going to roll inverted and do a bear call spread and a bear put spread on the VIX with the potential if we get back to our quote normal resting heart rate on the VIX uh, uh, down at about 12 that would be about another uh, $9,000 uh, in profit. I'm going to review this trade today at uh, 3 p.m. in our live trading session uh, and we're going to talk about that as you can see with the VIX whenever we get a freak out in the VIX we you know we get up into these upper teens uh, low 20s on the VIX we can't we don't stay up here for too long uh, volatility is a, it, it reverts to its mean uh, so uh, we're probably going to see with this a uh, little bit of a relief rally today the VIX implode maybe 10 15 percent and this trade Trade already start to make money. So join us at 3 p.m. today. Check your email to uh, register for our live trading event at 3 p.m. because I'm going to help you navigate what's going on uh, uh, with, with the debt crisis, Q3 earnings, uh, and everything that's going on in the market. Okay, so got to run, got to prepare for the uh, live trading session this afternoon and also the trading day and get out some uh, alerts to our subscribers. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll see you at 3 p.m.